Kill all. Welcome. I'm opening up my puzzle pieces. I bought a jigsaw sorter and a jigsaw felt roll like mat thing that you put your puzzle on. So I've got the mat out. We're on top of the mat at the moment actually. And I've opened up my Myrtle on the Nile puzzle. Okay, so we got an edge, a not edge. I think I'm going to listen to the audiobook for Murder on the Nile now. I love puzzles, but I'm also really bad at them. Now mysteriously appear. I've grabbed out like a black piece of paper so that I can move things around a bit easier because this fabric is really hard to move things around. Obviously, like that's the point. You're not supposed to move things around easily, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass when you don't know where things go just yet. So I've all the bits that I've connected, I've put on this black piece of paper so I can like adjust them and move them around. Might make things a bit easier for me, I think. All right, I'm going to read the little pamphlet story that is here. I'm opening up my puzzle pieces. I haven't actually spoken about the book. It's hard to say where I'm up to. We're introduced to the main like female character. She is all like rich and shit. She's like rolling in the dough. She's like, I wanna say 20. Um, and she owns her own estate and is doing renovations to this place. And then her friend is like, my god, I've got great news for you. I'm in love. Um, but I do need to ask of a favor. Would you allow my partner at the moment to work for you? Like, he needs money, he's poor, I'm not so well off, and we want to get married and live together. So could you hire him? And now I'm at the point of the book where the original female is married to the guy that gets introduced. So they've cheated on her friend. He cheated with her friend. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, frankly, I think that's disgusting. You already know when you're introduced to your mates, like there's boundaries there that you don't cross. You don't flirt and you don't approach that because they are with your friend. Like, even if they're not meant to be together, like you don't make it so you just don't interfere like it's none of your business you know just because you like him doesn't mean that you're allowed to flirt with him because like this girl is rich right so she's used to getting what she wants she does not give a flying fuck about her friend when it comes to the situation she's like well he he was liking me I'm not at fault at all when it's like you were flirting with him he sees money he sees a beautiful woman he you know, like, yeah, he may be a scumbag in the first place and it is his fault for leaving, but she literally has no sympathy for her friend and she initiated the situation. So in my mind, they're equally at fault and they're both fucking disgusting. Um, and I'm at the point now where they're on the boat together. This girl, the one who got cheated on, she is like vengeance mode. She is following them around everywhere they go and now they're in Cairo and she's just like I'm gonna fucking murder him I'm gonna murder them I'm gonna do it I swear I'm gonna do it she has a gun on her and everything and I'm pretty sure if I remember in my before bed phase I'm gonna re-listen to this part so I actually like remember it because I was listening to it as I fell asleep and if I remember correctly, um, she tries to shoot him and then, it, and then the gun goes missing. And that's where I'm up to. I'm up to the gun going missing. So I reckon the murderer is going to come up real quick. They're on like a, sh like a boat situation altogether. They're all on vacation. Just a bunch of different people in one place in, on vacation. And the detective character, um, I'm assuming he's in other Agatha Christie novels as well. I have not read any. This is my first one. Um, he's there and he's just like, hey bros, <laughs> I'm on vacation, I'm not here for anything, but he's literally just for vacation, he's getting dragged into all of this shit, and it's like, the murder hasn't even happened yet, so I can only imagine how much shit he actually is going to get pulled into, you know, but at the moment I'm 
really enjoying it. I like the setting. I like the like lead up. I'm hoping that more action happens now because I'm a pretty far I'm into it. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but okay. So I'm up to like about halfway, a little bit less than halfway right now. So hopefully the murder will happen now and then the rest of it will be resolving, you know, getting deep down into it. I've just watched the older Death of the Nile movie. It's like Agatha Christie's Death on the Nile. I think it came out around 1978. And boy, did I love the aesthetics. I thought it was so pretty, beautiful. Um, some of the like set design with the pyramids, like obviously they've had to sort of make do with what, they, what was available at the time. So it does look a bit like cheaper, but it just adds character. I love the beginning about the fast paced, like really getting to the point. I loved that about this particular adaptation. Um, I really, really enjoyed the ending and the ways that the detective, they like show his theorizing. It kind of gets you to use your brain a bit more and think about what could have actually happened because you can visualize what's going on and what could possibly have happened between, you know, different passengers and possible like possibilities possible possibilities that's what i just said but i just really loved it i think it might be one of my new favorites i definitely need to rewatch it like multiple multiple times so i'll have to let you know how i feel about the new movie but anyway <laughs> that was really good <laughs> back to the puzzle i completed the puzzle but i am missing one bloody piece because when i knocked it over um, and I like lost that whole corner, it fell out. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's why it's missing. That or um, during having it all in the compartments, I might have misplaced it. But this is the overall image. I've got a dead lady here. She's the one who's been murdered. I finished the puzzle. Oh, she moving. I finished the puzzle. Um, I finished reading the book lit thing. I read the answer as well after looking at the puzzle and the answer is very obvious as to who it is. Um, it literally says her name on the puzzle so I'm not going to say it because in case anyone ever wants to do this but they used in the story itself they use the concept of everyone going on the boat the same as they do in the original book and also in the movie um they do have the scene where uh they like push a rock over a huge like tower thing i can't think of the term to use what is it called a um pillar that's it so yeah, they use the like concept of like throwing a rock over a pillar to try and crush them and then it doesn't work and then they kill them properly on the actual boat. That also happens in the book and in the movie. That's like a minor spoiler, like that's not how someone dies, that's just one of the incidents that happen. Um, that's the only similarity between the death on the Nile and murder on the Nile. The puzzle itself... It's different, but it is inspired by the Agatha Christie novel. So basically, the answer as to who died and who got murdered with what item, you can literally see the blood on the arrow. Um, that's not a spoiler because that tells you in the pamphlet that you're supposed to read. Um, and when you're putting the puzzle together, you can kind of definitely see how it is. The whole reason that the detective himself gets invited to the party is because he stayed and at the mansion and was just doing research and trying to find out who actually was stealing silver which is mentioned in the original Agatha Christie novel it is slightly brought up and mentioned if I can recall correctly it's been quite a while since I read the book now because of how long it took me to do this puzzle um, I've been doing it on the like felt um mat which has both been a pain in my ass and also really helpful because i've been able to take it away and put it away and not have to touch it without it and it won't hasn't gotten in the way of you know day to day but also this texture is a pain in the ass uh the new movie that's coming out i'm sorry i'm literally destroying this right now well as i talk to you 
Um, the new movie that is coming out, oh my god, this is actually really satisfying, uh, is in February. It is currently February, and it, I believe it comes out like the week coming up. It is going to be released in cinemas. And, of course, I'm going to go see that. It is a must. So, yeah, this is me wrapping up the video. Uh, I finished the puzzle yesterday, answered it correctly, the movie was good, and what I have to say to you now is I highly recommend doing these puzzles. I think they're so much fun. This Murder on the Nile one is by... Be puzzled classics. They have other Agatha Christie themed ones. So they have the Orient Express, which I think I'm going to be doing next. They also have the Titanic one, which I've previously done. My sister has the Sherlock Holmes one, and I really want to do that with them soon. I just think it'd be really cool to sit down and do that together. Yeah, I just wanted to say the puzzle was cool, and I think the movie's great. I'm really excited to see what they do with this new one that's coming out. And, yeah, have a lovely day. I hope that this was entertaining to an extent. Bye-bye.